some people um, don't don't really understand what's happening here culturally, definitely with comic books and, and like entertainment, I think is the big thing that that is in some form of like writing, whether it be Hollywood, you look at movies, it's the same for, sort of problem. Um, and I know it seems like it's almost um, you, you wonder why these mega corporate entities who you think are in the interest of making money, why they would create stuff that seems to alienate an entire like it's one thing, yeah, you don't want to be the master of none where you're just trying to make something that <clears throat> appeals to every single person that exists and often you're going to get a mundane project. But that's not what it is that we're, they're doing. They're more alienating core fans and core supporters that would be the core customer base nowadays. So a lot of people are trying to figure out why because you know often people that are on our side are looking at it from a rational standpoint. So what logically, like what, what, what's the reasoning behind this? Why would a company like a Marvel or DC, which, you know, DC being with AT&T, if I'm not mistaken, you have Disney with Marvel and they, and, and you see other brands have the same issue, Star Wars. Like, why are they making this material and, and what's happening and who are they doing this for? I think there's a couple of layers and I'm not going to discuss every single one, more than a couple, actually layers of this, but I will discuss the prominent ones that I do think are worth acknowledging for the sake of this segment. You have to understand here that the implementation of social media has an introduced, a, and it's still ever growing. We're actually in the baby stages of this. I don't think people understand this. And this implementing a dynamic that markets are still attempting to respond to. And while social media and a lot of us exist on it, and that's where we get a lot of information from, that's where we've met, that's where we've interacted. But sometimes that can be tricky as far as dissecting that audience that you may see for a paying customer, especially if you're using something like Twitter. Like it's a certain demographic of people that already use Twitter. You, it, it can be very confusing as to why uh, as to like who the audience is. So you can get something, let's say you say something that appeals to the Twitter verse, if you will. And that then turns into a viral tweet that viral that has thousands upon thousands of people that have retweeted or liked it. That does not mean that those people are going to buy your product. Okay. That's not what it is that, 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 that it means. I do believe that there are people that are, in these marketing departments for a lot of these big companies that are so disconnected from that, that they do believe that that audience, whether it be on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, is representative of the market at large. And that it is a mistake. But that's why. And what I mean by that is that the higher ups don't see as much of a problem with this either because they think that these weirdos that they're appealing to is a market that they're going to that that represents the quote unquote market or at least it's going to be where the direct which is why you see all these companies major major companies out of nowhere seem to get quote unquote woke it's because they banked on that market and they also thought they think and the info rude awakening that if it wasn't going to make money right now it was going to make money in the future because that's what the fucking marketing department of some idiot that just graduated from some uh, so from, from some school uh, university had told them, right? Bad information nonetheless. The other side of that, the other side of that is that the people that are getting in these creative positions ad adopt it, come from largely the same schools and all that, but they've adopted that ideologically. So for them, it's not even about making money. Remember when I went back and forth with uh, the T. Franklin chick who's writing the uh, the DC Comics uh, uh, Harley Quinn shit, right? The, where everybody's gay and it's basically a book for like lesbians that work at subways and uh, manage subways more more particularly. And it's not a like a demographic of actual readers. We kind of looked at some of the numbers, and you know, they they the chick was like trying to appeal to their they're like, uh, what do you call it? 
Amazon, which fluctuates in terms of who's number one. And like when you look at the actual sales, like according to like Comicron, like they they're they're dog water. Like nobody's buying this book, okay? But it was a bunch of like self-inserting, right? She's talking about, well, look at this. Vixen's going to have this bl- gay, uh, uh, lesbian, disabled black love. The chick who's writing it, the T. Franklin chick, is lesbian, disabled, and black. So it was a self-insert effectively. And that's what it is about it for them. So you've had a generation, and fortunately it's my generation and younger, uh, who have now adopted like, Aspects of, for example, of and not exclusively to some of it is economically uh, unsound as well, but that's their position. It's uh, it, it's like social justice and some of those ilk for them and the people that are in those positions. And you have to remember this. They are not in the business of making money. So or rather, they're not doing it to make money. And because it's like a corporate, it's not like creator owned anyway. So it's not like corporate. So that chick doesn't. She didn't create Vixen. She's not going to make bread off of that. She got commissioned to write something, you know. So these people's bottom line isn't necessarily dependent on how good the book does for the most part. So they're writing books. And Hollywood is writing stories to impress their peers. Okay, to make a statement for headlines. This is why when she did that, she purposely did the Vixen stuff, right? So Vixen, she wanted to depict her this like hitting on like is predator predator shit too, uh, of the onus disabled chick. And she, the T Franklin's chick tweeted like, why aren't the headlines covering this? Like, why aren't they? Is it because I'm black basically, but why aren't the headlines covering that this Vixen being in this queer love, I think was a term that she did. She used that's, and that's telling you who they do this stuff for. They do this for people that are their peers that maybe agree with them social politically, but it's not for like an audience of actual readers. It's for headlines. It's to impress. So when you have that, in addition to the higher ups being so disconnected from that, and often it's because a lot of these corporates, uh, uh, these entities are mega corporate entities, a lot of moving parts. Um, um, and stuff, and and it's like they're so disconnected from what the audience actually wants, um, and what it is that they actually desire. They often conflate things, um, as well. This is why you have, um, like the like, unlike with manga and anime, their movies aren't selling books, right? Because there's no relationship there. They're disconnected. Um, like, so when a blockbuster movie makes a billion dollars, you don't really see an increase. It doesn't translate to an increase in comic book sales. Almost never. It does it do that. Um, at least not to the degree of something that's sustainable where it's the complete opposite with manga. Manga will sell an anime and anime will sell a manga. But that's, that's, those are the couple of the things that you have to look at. I know it's, it's habit for us to say, This makes no sense. These people write stuff. They tell the audience how much they they they're they're like they hate them. Like the G4 stuff is another example of that. G4 uh, gets um, relaunched and immediately they come and out. You have the the chick that we've covered before. You got Adam Sessler has a history of uh, just saying just things about large swaths of potential you like viewers right which attention which essentially are customers if you're entering the space that they are entering and you sit there and wonder like why would they do that why would they do that well again you got comcast being involved that's why they got revised in the first place that's who's funding this uh this shit so they're basically being commissioned they're being commissioned to do what it is that they do so they don't understand or see the brunt of the economic consequence of anything it is and they don't care about that so this is why they could say screw all you guys screw all every last one of you guys and they're not in it because they're in a minute in in the business of like social conditioning um and appealing to their social uh uh like the people that are getting to agree with them social socially not making good work for buying or, or worthwhile customers that's not who they're doing it for, right? That's not why those folks are doing. Now that doesn't mean that, and this is why again, you can't look at the corporate entities and be like, like the, the actual shot callers in those, and say, well, they're not in the business of making money because they just want to appeal, uh, because they're, you know, I was like, no, 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 no. I think you're looking at this wrong. I think for one, I think you, 
uh, number one, I think you're looking at it too, like you're giving them far too much credit. I do believe they think, if not now, long term, sustainability, this is what's in. This is what's hip. And this is where, and I guess it can somewhat make sense because you look at the younger audience and how they're coming in, these fucking brainless with their mental fucking issues. Uh, they're, they're in there like bios. These young folk are fucked in the fucking head, man. Y'all are raising some shithead ass kids. But they think that that's where the market, if it's not there now, that's where it's going to go. So they are in the business of fucking making money one way uh, or another. And there's some other things that we could talk about. We could talk about the the funding of like the, 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 with the state and how they somewhat fund some of this stuff. Like there's uh, there's stuff, other moving parts in that. And I'm not saying that those don't exist. I'm just giving you two main parts that I think are often overlooked and trying to understand, like, who the hell is this work for? Like, why would they do something co- repeatedly? We see company after company do stuff seems out of spite. Like, you're doing stuff to be petty enough to, like, just turn off an entire audience of people that are usually, like, your main audience. And then you're wondering, like, what the... No, you can't look at it just that. There's, there's These are mega corporate entities, and their top dogs are completely disconnected from the people that are actually writing this shit. And they don't know any better, unfortunately. And the people that are writing it are not in the business of making money. Like, they're broke. And they'll whine about being pissy broke sometimes, like comic pros do. But they're not in the business of, like, making money. And their bottom line isn't even even dependent on if that comic book sells. They may get put off the book or the book might get canceled. But ultimately, it's not like they're getting commissioned for the project regardless. It's not create-owned, man. It's not create-owned. So... That's that's a thing to focus on or uh, something to look at if you are wanting to understand, like, who is this shit for and why are they doing it? You just listened to a clip from my podcast for Cannon's sake, which is live throughout the week at 12 p.m. Central on YouTube.com slash Young Ripper 59 and Odyssey.com slash at Young Ripper 59. Be sure to check out my website, EricDJuly.com, so you can stay up to date with everything it is that I'm doing. You can also become a member and get access to a bunch of cool perks and exclusive content, which includes a social media hub where you can interact with myself and other members. It even has an app that you can get, which is now live in the Google and Apple stores.